welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go a story title. What do you all think? Long story. And guys, this story is about a guy. He is 32. His wife's 31. They married a 10, mar- blah. They've been married for 10 years, and he thought they had a good thing going. One of the things they like to do is go to concerts and things like that. And at a concert, he went with a wife, you're going to see that, uh, well, some shady things went down. Some very suspicious activity in her part, but then only had a uh, ripple effect in other parts of their lives. Ultimately, where he started really being suspicious of her actions, whether she's being faithful, the whole nine yards. And leaves this whole thing going on to find out, in fact, yes, she's up to some serious, serious dirty deeds. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when I continue on the story. And dirty is a perfect way to describe it, as you will soon see. But this guy handles it right, and ultimately you will see kicks her to the curb, to which she has a meltdown, which I know many of you guys enjoy. So it goes to show, guys, you must always pay attention to red flags. You must always be willing to act upon things, and never buy the BS stories and BS tears, because you otherwise will be taken advantage of further. So, oh, and before I forgot, before I forget, guys... If you haven't already subscribed to my other channel, Strong Successful Male, by all means do so. And my new channel, SSM Clips. Try to really grow those channels this year. And by you guys subscribing, it'll definitely help YouTube see that I'm growing. Therefore, promote me as well. And that will help more guys find my work and spread the message and all that. So take a moment and uh, subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right. So starts off. He says here, my wife, a 31-year-old female, and I, a 32-year-old male, have been married for 10 years. We enjoy, we enjoy going to con- concerts a lot. We are both Hispanic and enjoy live music in smaller venues. Last November, we went to see a band that was very popular a couple of years ago and got a lot of radio play. Now they mainly play in nightclubs. Anyway, we went along with another couple. My wife likes to dress very sexy when we go to events like this. She is very good looking and usually gets lots of looks. And that's why she dresses sexy, because she wants to keep up with the validation and attention. And by the way, she's 31. What happens at 30? They know that the market value drops. It is what it is. So that's when the gals really want the attention and validation to make sure they still got it. And you'll see more what I'm talking about. <clears throat> I don't mind, since she's always been all about me. <laughs> we are about to find out differently. We have a good time. The main band likes to usually play for about one hour to, from 11 to 12. My wife likes to post to Snapchat a lot. She also posts a lot of the show. Red flag. You're married to her. There shouldn't be any Snapchat at this point. Who's she Snapchatting with? Since we know the venue and owner and sponsor, we sometimes get to see the band afterwards and take pictures and hang out a bit. This time we get to the back as well. I got distracted getting drinks and my wife and the other couple went without me. By the time I made it back but to the back of the stage, they pretty much were leaving. My wife and the other couple were super excited as they were invited to an after party in the city with them. This is rare, but it's happened before, but this was definitely unexpected. We drove to the location. It was a bit appreh- I was a bit apprehensive at first, since the kind of crowd to, to like this music and drop 15k for an hour of music is something sometimes sketchy. We get there and they are already playing. They play for more than an hour and then another band takes over. The main singer of the band approached us, and we talked for a bit. My wife was elated, as she has been a big fan. Women and rock stars, or just people in bands, it is amazing to me. It could be the most butt-ugly old rocker. It doesn't matter. They got women all over them. Uh, She takes a lot of pictures. At some point, I go to the restroom. The drinks are hitting me. I come back to the sitting area, and my wife is not there. Where could wifey be? I assume she went to the restroom. 20 minutes passed, and I text her. No response. I find the other couple, and they said that they haven't seen her as well. Well, she's in the bathroom. She's taking one very long, massive dump, because that's a long time in the freaking bathroom. Unless she's in the bathroom with somebody else. I call her again. No response. I finally find her coming down the stairs from the second floor. She's with the singer and another girl. She tells me that he showed her where the restroom was and that she was talking and got this girl that she set, just met. This sets off alerts in my head. We immediately leave. So something doesn't feel right to this guy. And he has a good reason to suspect something's up. 
Uh, we get home and she takes a long shower. There's the sign. We finally go to sleep around 4 o'clock in the morning. I try not to be paranoid, but I have a bad feeling about the whole thing. Days pass and she refused the SEX as she said she's tired. Well, if they regularly hook up, something's up. She disappeared. She's acting strange. The long shower when they got home. That's a classic when people hook up. She doesn't want him to smell another dude on her. Hope she brushed her teeth. And the SEX stopped. I decided to check her phone. I find that she DM'd the guy to his public Instagram account saying, I had a great night. The guy let, uh, let her on scene. I see that the very next day she texted her friend, we need to talk, I got gossip. She also befriended the girl she was with on Instagram. So now she's reaching out to the band guy. Not cool. Shouldn't be talking to other dudes. And this guy's probably thinking, if I say something, then she'll be like, you're on my phone, you're invading my privacy. But on the other hand, some things are going on. I would have said something. I would have definitely not let this shit slide. The following weekend, we were grilling and drinking in my house. A song by this group comes on, and the friend, as she messaged immediately, looks at my wife, toasts her glass to her, and says, for the memories... The memories, huh? What kind of memories? Uh, this group is playing in, in the city two hours away, and my wife magically got tickets for her and her friend. It's a Friday night, so I can't go due to work. I checked her phone again, and the message to the dude has been deleted. Am I crazy to think something is going on? No. You have plenty of good reason to think something's going on. There's just too many red flags. And now she's going alone without you. I guarantee that's not an accident. Now, wait till you see what happens here says here, as an update, I've convinced my wife to drive my car up to the concert. I have GPS on my car and plan on following her. I've called into work. I messaged my wife's friend's husband. I started with a small talk about football and such. I casually mentioned that the price of the tickets, he responded, yeah, man, thanks for the tickets. My wife said that you had, had work and she's going with your wife. I'll get you next time. Uh, this confirms that my wife lied about the tickets. She had told me that her friend got them for cheap on resale. Okay, now his suspicions are uh, accurate. I'm driving my truck and I'm ready for the all-night stakeout if needed. We live in California, but still expect the temperature to drop. I even get my dusty Nikon ready. I'm mad as fuck, uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't have an app with a, a lawyer yet. I don't have an appointment with a lawyer yet, but I plan on getting one when I, when I get concrete evidence. My wife moved uh, moved her waxing appointment to yesterday. I only know because of the CC statement. She's been suffering from cramps for four days and thinks her period is coming according to her. Any advice? I feel like a loser having to do all this crap. My advice is uh, something's going on and get all the evidence you can and that way then when you're ready to strike, she can't uh, deny, deny, deny. Get, get, play cool, get all the evidence because you know something's up. Now, the final update here to show exactly what is going on and his suspicions are warranted. And remember the word dirty. That's coming back here to play. It says here, despite the advice against it, I followed through with my plan of following my wife and her friend to the concert yesterday. People were giving advice not to do it. What's wrong with these freaking people? Some clarification. I'm the breadwinner and I don't have a shared bank account. I manage 99% of the finances. We don't have kids as she never wanted any. She works with her sister doing nails, and in reality, she only has a couple clients a week, and she spends that, that petty cash on herself. So, this guy pays all the bills. He's smart enough to have his separate accounts, and all the money she makes is his money is their money. Her money is her money. Imagine that. So, she's got it made. She can have the guy take care of all the bills and all that, and uh, she obviously can have her fun, as you're about to see. We've been together for 10 years, but married to six. Uh, thank God I bought our current home before we got married. We have three cars, two under my name, and one under hers. Why the hell do they have three cars? Uh, hers is being financed. I removed my banking information from her direct payment. I canceled all her credit cards, for which he is an authorized user. I called my brother, who's divorced, and asked for his lawyer's information. I spoke to the lawyer. Wow, this guy's a man on a mission. Now the ugly part. I followed her to the venue. I could not find a voice recording device like many of you advise. They went in around 8 o'clock. I found street parking from where I could see her car. She snapped the whole thing. At around 11 o'clock, she texted me that they were both too much to, 
had too much to drink and will probably crash at her cousin's house. Oh, imagine that. Now they're so-called crashing in somebody else's house. Now that she can do whatever she wants. <clears throat> at around midnight, the event ended. I stayed put. I, I took the risk of her seeing my truck, but there was lots of traffic. I saw her car move on the GPS and I followed. She and her friend drove to an upscale hotel. They parked in the street and waited there for about 40 minutes. I took a picture of them waiting while I was on foot. They eventually, they eventually went in. I took a risk and walked around back. I found one of the band's sprinter vans parked near the basement parking. This I could see from the street. I texted her, all right, see you in the morning. Don't drive drunk. She said, okay, love you. See you tomorrow. I drove home. This morning, my wife got home and went directly to bed. I called her friend. I told her that I'd seen them going to the hotel and I was going to tell her husband. She was confused at first. The husband knew where she was going. And though I knew to... And I knew too, apparently my wife told her I had okay the whole thing. She was apologetic and told me what she knew. Now listen how the uh, the friend sings like a bird. Says here back on in November, my wife went went with back in November, my wife went without me to meet the band. Apparently the lead singer took a, li a liking to her and grabbed her ass while taking pictures. My wife cozied up to him and he gr groped her many times. He then invited her to the after party. At the party, as soon as I went to the restroom, the other girl came over and, and all three of them went upstairs. My wife and the girl sucked his you-know-what. My wife then got effed by the dude while the other girl was just watching. No condom was used. Apparently, the other girl was, is a groupie for sure and just encourages new girls to F the group. Here's what really hurts. My wife told her friend that she wasn't going to have SCX with me in case she ended up pregnant. She was thrilled about the idea of being pregnant. Not going to lie, this hurt the most. So remember when his wife disappeared and all that? Well, she was upstairs sucking the uh, the band guys, you know what. But we're not done yet. Her friend and her husband gave an openish relationship, have an openish relationship, apparently. Openish? The guy called me to confirm and show support. He really thought I knew, but was acting like I didn't as part of the act, whatever that means. Last night, my wife and her friend f the guy in a suite. My wife gave head to the drummer, but didn't F him as well. They did cocaine, and the singer f her in the ASS. I'm writing this as crude as possible as a reminder to myself why I will never touch her again. What a piece of garbage. I took my wife's phone. Her snap code for hidden pictures was her last four of her social security number. She uh, took pics. Uh, even the first time she took pics, she was on her knees wearing that, that dress back in November, sucking the guy off. I airdropped everything to my phone. She took pictures of her sucking off that guy, and now he has them for his lawyer. I woke her up around noon. I handed her a locked phone and said nothing. I told her she had to be gone by the time I came back. I called her dad, who's always been honest with me, and told him I was leaving her because she cheated. He stayed quiet and said he understood. My wife's mom cheated on him too. They reconciled years later. Thank you for your words, everyone. I have, to, I, have to, I have a sit down at appointment on Monday with a lawyer. I'm, I'm going fishing right now with my brother today. And my wife has called me 40 times in the last hour. So there you go, guys. A quick one. Right to the point. Red flags. Always pay attention to them. And it is a bad idea if you're a guy and you marry a beautiful woman who likes to dress sexy and flaunt it wherever she goes, and you're paying all the freaking bills. You're there. He pays for everything. But thank God he was smart enough to keep separate accounts. And uh, he bought the house before they got married. I'm assuming this guy's a prenup and live in a state where that will be honored. And he's got all the pictures, and I wish the best that he uh, gets away this, this this marriage as best as possible. But he's 31. He said they've been married for six years. So they got married when he was 25. Too freaking young. But... He's still 31. He can recover, and I hope he learns a major lesson. And for her, she can go off with a band because you know they're going to kick her to the curb. She's a dime a dozen to that. So just be careful, guys. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. And also, guys, if you've got a good story like to share, by all means, email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it, and I will want to get a chance, if it's a good one for the channel. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.